Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying four sweet treats for you from Dylan's Candy Bar. We visited a Dylan's Candy Bar uh, when we were in Hawaii. They had a beautiful, um, it was like a Willy Wonka paradise in there. Yeah, it was Everything good. was colorful and beautiful. Uh, but we bought these in Dylan's Candy Bar on vacation. So I have the Malt Ball Madness, the Rainbow Pretzel Perfection, uh, Cookie Bite Bliss, and Marshmallow S'mores Galore. And you are going to fall out of your chair when I tell you how much we paid for them. Get a number in your head. $10 a piece. They were $10 a bag, so that's $40 right here. Which is here. ridiculous. It is. Um, I went in there, honestly. Um, I was in vacation mode, and when you're in vacation mode, uh, or at least when I'm in vacation mode, I'm just buying stuff, and I'm not paying attention to the price. So I didn't even have a clue how much they cost until I started looking for these reviews and it's like, wow, those are $10 a bag. Um, so uh, hopefully they're really, really good. It is a 5.5 ounce bag, malt ball madness, crunchy malted milk balls covered in chocolatey coatings. Um, and I even have a tag that says $10, but they had their own tag that said $10. Um, it says, experience sweet nostalgia from the first taste of this old time treat. Perfect as a snack or paired with a glass of milk. Happy munching. And apparently they have milk chocolate malt balls, dark chocolate milk balls, and uh, malt balls and yogurt hmm. um, malt balls. Yeah, so there's three different kinds in here. No. It says a fourth of a cup, 30 grams, is 150 calories. So we're gonna weigh it. We're gonna weigh it. I'm curious how many pieces you get. Yes. And let's I'm curious how ahead. much, how, be, how different these are from like a Whopper. Uh, yeah. Well, okay, there's that one. Let's see if you get one of each. Wow, it's almost 10 grams each. Oh, one more. I don't think you can do one more. I mean, you can try. Yeah, that's 25 for three. You said it was 30 or 28? 30 and that's okay. 31. So you get basically four. You get about four, yeah. So, um, yeah. So <laughs> are you going to divide those? Are you going to half them? Yeah, I don't know or if not. I'm going to cut them or not. I mean, not cut them on the scale. No, don't what cut them do on the scale. What do you want them on the yogurt one first? Sure. Uh, their website is www.dillonscandybar.com. And I do think it's nice that they give you three different kinds. So this is the yogurt. It's not bad. I mean, I'll be curious to try the milk because to me, if I was blindfolded, I wouldn't have said yogurt. No, I wouldn't have either. It just tastes like chocolate. Let me try the milk. I do think there's a difference. But it's slight. It's very, very slight. I do think, for me, the yogurt one was sweeter. I don't know yeah, why. it seemed like a... Uh, the milk chocolate just had a stronger chocolate flavor to me. You can absolutely yeah, tell. Yeah, it's dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. It's nice, though. It is nice, but I'm just going to say it. Ten dollars is ridiculous for this. When you can go buy a bag of Whoppers or what's that Maltesers is the one you like? I prefer Maltesers. Um, Whoppers or Maltesers cost like a dollar or two for a whole milk jug full of um, a milk carton full of yeah. Whoppers. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Um, that's no better than a Whopper. If the coating on the chocolate's thicker. Mm -hmm. and, it, the, and the Whopper itself is bigger, but as far as the flavor goes, it's it's no better. You think a Whopper is bigger than these? No, I'm saying those are bigger. Oh, and you thicker. said a Whopper is bigger. I'm sorry, these are coated thicker and they're bigger than a Whopper, mm -hmm. but um, the flavor is not necessarily any better. Actually, the malt flavor is a little lo less for me. Um, not looking at the price at all. Not going by the price. I like them. If the I like price, them too. If, if, yeah, if the price wasn't any different. If the price does not bother you personally, then I think they're good. They're I good. think they taste good. Yeah. Um, my favorite of the three is the yogurt because it was just yeah. really, really sweet. 
but I think they're all three good. I do still prefer Maltesers because that's just a personal preference, and Kevin Pray prefers the, the Whoppers. The Whopper. But I do think the Malt Flavor is a little stronger than those. But I do I like, them. like these. Yeah, if the price is not a bother to you, then go for it. These are, uh, you have to, no, you get five. They told us how many you get of these. Uh, these are Rainbow Pretzel Perfection, and they're really well, pretty. Very well coated. Yes. Five pretzels are 150 calories. They are toasty pretzels coated in milk chocolate and crunchy rainbow sprinkles. And that's exactly what I thought they were. Mm -hmm. They taste like they, they, mm -hmm. like they should. <laughs> mm -hmm. You could do this yourself really easy at home. I say that anytime we have something with pretzels and chocolate because we've done it ourselves. It's not very hard. It's not hard at all. And so you can choose your favorite pretzel. You can do the rods or you can do pieces like this. You can Sticks do, if you want to. You can do anything you want. And it's so easy to dip them in chocolate and then lay them on a piece of uh, wax paper, parchment paper to, to harden. Really, really simple. And if you want to add these little sprinkles to them, you can. Um, but if this would be great for a gift. I think they taste exactly like you would expect them to taste. They taste like milk, milk chocolate and pretzel. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing fabulous about it. Just, no. Yeah. It, it, I don't know. The price kills me. I you know. know I know. But if we're not, if if, if you're not just reviewing it on the flavor, they're they're, they're, they're good. They are, they are what they say they are. Yeah. It's just milk chocolate and pretzel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's not bad. Okay. So these are Cookie Bite Bliss milk. Oh, sorry. Mini mini chocolate sandwich cookies covered in a smooth milk chocolatey coating. Um. Mini chocolate, so yeah, same thing. A fourth of a cup, so we're gonna weigh this one. 30 grams is 150 calories. So. 150 tends to be their thing, so. Yeah. Well, that's a good number that doesn't scare people too much. Ooh, okay, they are well coated. Mm -hmm. I do have to say that about all these. They've been very well coated. Yes, they have. Are you shooting for 28? 30. 30. That's over. Ooh, that's over. That one was so about two and a that half. That one was a big one. I that, still think you're about yeah. Either three smaller ones. I or think about two, two and, and a half. half regular half. Ones. Yeah, about two and a half of these. So. Cut in half so you can see what they look like. Mini chocolate sandwich cookies. I'm wondering. Yeah, they're like a little Oreo. In is it, that's what I'm wondering. Is it going to be like an Oreo? I did not get a flavor of Oreo at all. So no. my question was when I saw them, is that gonna be like an Oreo? I don't like those that much, honestly. I like the, the fudge covered Oreos much better than that. Uh, I do too. Yeah, there's something that's a little, there's a little bitterness there for me. I agree, yeah. yes. I don't mind them. I think they're a terrific texture. I think the danger of these would be that I could eat half this bag really in one go because they do have a bitterness to them kevin's right but they're so pleasurable to eat that yeah that, the texture's good that coating is so thick that milk chocolate coating on the outside is so thick that they're so fun to eat i would eat half of them yeah. but there is a little bit of a bitterness yeah. it doesn't bother me enough to keep me from eating them <laughs> it would keep me from eating them because it would not keep me the, away from them the flavor in those is almost so it's the bitterness there is almost chemical like Oh, it's not that bad yeah. to me. So, so that's one I wouldn't eat. Like I said, I'd much rather have a fudge covered Oreo. If, yeah, a lot of things, if it's up in the cabinet, I could safely say, oh, that wouldn't tempt me. Those would tempt me just because I know how good they feel in my mouth. Yeah, you know? the texture's good. I like the texture. <laughs> yeah. Now these, I can't wait. These are the ones I think out of everything that I was Look most good. excited about. These are the Marshmallow S'mores Galore. Golden graham crackers unite with fluffy marshmallow underneath a creamy layer of chocolate. And two pieces, they're telling us, we don't have to weigh these. Two pieces are 120 calories and I can already smell. It smells good. 
Okay. And most of them are, yeah, like this. Golden graham crackers unite with fluffy marshmallow underneath a creamy layer of chocolate. They got a good, good graham cracker, marshmallow, chocolate, pretty decent cover. That marshmallow is a little on the chewy. It's the chewier side of marshmallow. It's not one of those really fluffy white marshmallows. It's not bad. It's just chewier. No, the flavors are good. I like them. I like that too. It um, is it the best s'mores I've ever had? Mm -hmm. No, but I really do like it. The marshmallow is chewy as long as you know that. Once again, though, this is one of those things where I would be tempted by it because the textures and so it, it and it's thick. It has a the, not only is the the graham cookie thick on the bottom, but the marshmallow is thick, the chocolate is thick. I have to say, yes, they're expensive, but you have to admit they did not skimp on that chocolate coating. No, they did a good job. They're very the well coating. coated. I just think uh, I, we've been to the Dillon's candy bar somewhere else, and they were also expensive. Mm -hmm. um, and it was in an airport. But but I just think overall they're. They overprice their stuff for no reason. There's no reason to have them this expensive because the, there's other alternatives that are cheaper that are just as good. I agree. Um, as anything else, I'm not saying they're bad at all. No, they're good. I just good think quality. they're overpriced. Yeah, I, no, I agree completely. Yeah. If I, you went on vacation and you wanted to bring somebody back something, uh, you're gonna go broke doing it. <laughs> but I think they're they're very colorful bags. Mm -hmm. It's something that. Not everybody can get in their town. Right. And it's so good. And it's, they're good. Yeah, and they are good, but it, it's just the price. Are you willing to pay that price yeah. for them? Yeah. Um, I think it'd be, I would feel better about the price if they were like over the top, like, oh, wow, these are the best thing I've ever eaten. Um, you feel better about spending $10 a bag. Mm -hmm. But when they're not over the top, they're just really good, um, it, the price does factor in. Right. But going on flavor, I like all of them. Yeah. The only one I didn't like was the, the cookie one. And that oh. was one I would not get again. I just did not like the cookie one at all because it had a, a little bit of a chemical bitterness to it. But um, the rest of them, I would get them. I like them all, honestly. But if you only had a ten dollar bill, you only um, you could only buy one. I'd probably get the s'mores, probably. I don't know, or, or the little malted milk balls. No, I'd probably do the s'mores. It's so hard. Um, I think I would do. I think I would do those cookies. Yeah, see, I didn't like those. Yeah, well. and they, I think I, I would do those because I love that it does have the, the a little bit of bitterness to it, but it didn't it didn't bother me. It didn't, just didn't bother you. It, it didn't bother me. me at all, and I love the texture of it, and it's so well coated that it's like just get in my mouth and let me eat you. You know, <laughs> I just liked it. So if you've had any of these, you can let us know. These were the only four bags that Dylan's had that we visited. They may have more available in bags like this we just didn't see them where we went so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching